Well, here it is. At long last, my first box of Modern Horizons. Just in time to get excited for the next set, which is being spoiled now, for set 2020. Um, you know, I get these from the interwebs to get the lowest price. Which means I get them a full two weeks after all the other YouTubers. Um, we get to open up boxes and get a bunch of views. But you know what? I'm doing it anyway. Because I got them and why not? Nice packaging. Nice Sarah. Got a nice Urza. What can we get in these packs? Let's find out. Alright, let's pull them out. Now that the set EV has tanked a bit, we're just doing this for fun, right? Probably have to just sit on this stuff until it comes back. Oops, I don't need those there. But let's see what we get. I'm really hoping for a sliver. The first sliver, in fact. Because I just love slivers. Ah, oh, I like uh, foil zombie tokens, too. Very nice. So then the back of the foils is just an ad, but that's solid anyway. Got a uh, art card. It's the uh, Morophon the Boundless. So these art cards, neat, glossy, collectibles, right? Honestly, I think this was kind of a missed opportunity to to turn this into like a proxy. Like you could get, I don't know, some little check boxes for some kind of proxy that you could use. Um, another token. Who knows? But I mean, they're cool. We'll put them here. Uh, full art snow covered forest not bad too so um, these are going to flood the market of course but we got them now we got a collector oofy or is it an oof you tell me activated abilities of artifacts can't be activated on a 2-2 two, two for 2 oofy creature I like the art it's nice and we got a regrowth a sadistic obsession and a factor fiction solid uh on commons. Um, I don't know if there's any standout commons yet, but I do feel like some of the commons that uh, uh, are in this set are going to um, become uh, sought after for Popper um, at least. Because um, there's some there's some commons out there that have some interesting effects. Um, anyway, elemental token. So this will be a double sided. Got a squirrel on the back. Nice. Got a Prismatic Vista art card there. Nice. Again, I guess you can use the back however you want, right? I think some kind of proxy. Um, you can at least use it for a proxy for that card. That makes sense. Got an island. Dead of Winter. Sorcery for two and a black. All non snow creatures get minus X minus X until end of turn, where X is the number of snow permanents you control. Sure. Plenty of uh, cards in this set to beef up your snow um, decks, right? So, got a Blizzard Strix and a Lanawar Tribe and a Crypt Rats. Great. Look for slivers. Any good slivers in here? There's a bear. Bears are a thing now. And ninjas are a thing again. Great. All right. Moving right along. Let's speed it up. Got a bird token with an angel on the back. Got some Seb McKinnon art there. I forget what that's called. Force of Despair. Got the force cards in the in force here. Giver of runes. There's the stepmom. Um, she can get the bullies off of you, but she can't take the gossip herself, right? She's a, a one, two for one core cleric. Another target creature you control. Gains protection from colorless or from the color of your choice until end of turn but not herself honestly I still like this card I hope it sees some play um, can have more of that effect in whatever deck uses mother of runes talisman of conviction goblin matron like the art on that and an ore scale guardian sliver 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 no slivers oh well really looking for just that one particular sliver zombie and an emblem for Ren. So that's Ren, so the tree is six. Is that right? Good to know. All right, well, we'll put that one there. Nice. Very nice. Lesser Masticor. 
So what makes it a Masticore? Because it's a like a machine. Wouldn't it be a Machinicore then instead of a Mentacore? You tell me. Snow Covered Island. Cabal Therapist. The original spoiler from this set. 1-1 one, one for black. Creature Horror. With Menace at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, you may sacrifice a creature. When you do, choose a non-land card name. Then target player reveals their hand and discards all cards with that name. Get rid of those cards. Nantuko Cultivator, a Frostwalk Bastion, and the Good Fortune Unicorn. You have been visited by the Good Fortune Unicorn. Great. Eh, 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 eh. Nothing big there. All right, we'll skip the comments from now on. What else we got? No mythics yet. Soldier and an elemental. Got the sword of blue and white. Truth and justice, right? Very nice. Planes. Got a foil scour all possibilities. Solid. And a lightning skeletal. That's great. So it's like a lightning. A black and two red for a 6-1 with trample and haste. Whenever lightning skeletal deals combat damage to a player, that player discards two cards. At the beginning of the end step, sacrifice lightning skeletal. I it's I think it's got possibilities, right? Farmstead Gleaner, Web Weaver Changeling, and a Valiant Changeling. Yeah, the other thing in this set is the Shapeshifters. Um, I think these are going to do some work. That's kind of a high casting cost, but um, maybe it'll see some play somewhere. All right, skip the commons, right? It's been two weeks. Everybody's seen all of everything in this set. It's out of style already. There's a Shapeshifter token and an Elephant token. Got uh, must be Umazawa and his Jitty, but it's the charm. He's got some charm, looks like. Snow covered swamp. Ayula's influence for three green. Get an enchantment, discard a land card, create a 2 2 green bear creature token. Again, bears are a thing. Dismantling blow, talisman of hierarchy, and a forgotten cave. Anything good? Anything good? Oh, there's the charm. Just an instant. Okay. No mythics yet. Foil soldier token. Solid. And uh, there's a disappearing lion. Let me see. Ephemerate. Nice. Planes. Uh, Echo of Eons for four and two blue. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library, then draws seven cards, and you can flashback it. So that's a, basically a time walk, right? No, not a time walk, a time vault. I already forget. Go ahead, laugh at me down below. Scale up. I like this for infect. Um, I think that um, that's a, a, a good thing to see an old deck like infect come back to life with a, just a little addition like that. Goblin token with a merit lage. There's a flying indestructible avatar there for you. And there's a skeletal art card and a mountain and a waterlogged grove. So I got my first horizon land. Uh, pay one life and add green or blue. And you can sacrifice it later to draw a card. Solid. Very solid. So I guess the next set we'll get the other four and then Horizon Canopy will have to get reprinted somewhere else. I mean, it's already been reprinted. So these are going to be staples for a long time. Carrion Feeder, uh, the reprint. Sling Gang Lieutenant and Thundering Jin. We'll just skip right on by those. Zombie and a bear. And oh, that's cool. It's the Endling. It finishes off the Ling set, right? You had Morphling and Torchling and some a couple others. Snow Covered Island, Foil Orcish Hellraiser, and Sisse, the Weatherlight Captain. Two and a white for a legendary creature. Sisse, Weatherlight Captain gets plus one, plus one for each color among other legendary permanents you control. Pay all colors. Search your library for a legendary permanent card with converted mana cost less than Sisse's power. Put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Hmm, I don't know. Is that going to see any play? I'm going to guess probably not much. Pillage, Vesper Lark, Alpine Guide. Whoops, over here. Uh, 
There we go. Ah, foil shapeshifter token. Nicely, nicely done there. And this is the Echo of Aeons. No, is it? No, it's something else. What is that? Guess I should look. Arkham's Astrolabe. There it is, right on the back. Forest Hogak, Arisen Necropolis. So uh, this one um, is pretty big right now, right? So five and either blue, or I'm sorry, green or black times two. You can't spend mana to cast this spell, but you can convoke and delve it. You may cast Hogak from your graveyard. It's got Trample 8-8. Eight, eight. Great card. Um, probably doing a bunch of degenerate things with the format right now. Saddle Rhyme Stag, Birthing Bows, and Twisted Reflection over here. Volatile Claws. I think that's a good common too. All right. Soldier in a Construct. Nice. Good looking art right there. Watcher for tomorrow. And a Mountain and a Cordial Vampire for two black. Get a 1-1. Whenever Cordial Vampire or another creature dies, put a 1-1 counter on each vampire you control. Oh, got to give those vampires some tokens. Please come in. Hors d'oeuvres are on the table. Gruesome. I like it. Shatter Assumptions. Watch it for tomorrow. Glacial Revelation. All right. Need more Mythics out of this box here. Foil Goblin Token. More Seb McKinnon art. Cannot go wrong with that. I would love to get a playmat of that. Answered Prayers. There's an Island and a Nether Spirit for one and two black. Creature Spirit. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Nether Spirit is the only creature card in your graveyard, you may return Nether Spirit to the battlefield for a 2-2. Two -two. Maybe. Talisman of Resilience, Ingenious Infiltrator, and a Hollowhead Sliver. Discard silver creatures you control have discard a card, draw a card. Oh yeah, gonna want that for sure. All right, moving along. Bird token, Sase, planes, collected conjuring for two and a blue and a red. Exile the top six cards of your library. You may cast up to two sorcery cards with converted mana cost three or less from among them without paying their mana cost. Put the exile cards not cast this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. Great. Secluded Step, Nantuko Cultivator, and Birthing Bows. Great. All right. Maybe we won't read the rares going forward. We're taking way too much time here. Goblin Token. Got a Sliver. Endearing Sliver. Snow Covered Island. Foil Factor Fiction. And I got Sarah the Benevolent. Great. Well, I guess I better read the Mythics. She's a great legendary planeswalker for two and two white. Creature you can control the flying get one one for plus two. You can minus three it for a token. And minus six you get an emblem with if you control a creature damage that would reduce your life total to less than one reduces it to one instead. Is that worship I think? Great. Awesome. Got a blizzard strix, a goblin or a flame, and a sling gang lieutenant. Nice. Love the art on pondering mage. That's very nice. Okay, Modern Horizons, here we go. Can I open the packs? There's a shapeshifter and a con construct. Got a zebra unicorn there. That's great. I remember those from Mirage. Zalfirin decoy. Snow covered forest and a cloud shredder sliver. I actually absolutely love this card for red and a white. Sliver creatures you control have flying and haste. Um, Excellent. You don't need blue to give your your slivers flying anymore. Excellent card. Smiting Helix, Thundering Jin, and Urza's Rage. Looking for more slivers. I really want that first sliver. Elemental token and a bear. There's Sarah. And a snow covered swamp. There's another mythic. Unbound Flourishing for two and a green enchantment. Whenever you cast a permanent spell with a mana cost that contains X, double the value of X. Whenever you cast an instant or source repel or activate an ability. I'm laughing because I'm realizing this is just wizards just loving hydras. 
Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell or activate an ability, if that spell's mana cost or that ability's activation cost contains X, copy that spell or ability. You may choose new targets for the copy. Um, got an interesting effect to it. I wonder if we'll see that get used in, with doubling season or, I don't know, some other effect. Splicer skill, pillage, and a talisman of creativity. Bird token in foil. Uh, okay, foil tokens there. Oh yeah, nice art there from Rebuild. Snow covered plains and a bizarre trade mage. It's basically a bizarre Baghdad on a body. Uh, Feaster of Fools, uh, Factor Fiction, and Glacial Revelation. And I'll scan these all up at the end and see what I got money wise as well. Bird token. First Sliver's Chosen. Mountain Goblin Engineer. Nice. Lonely Sandbell, Slam Bar, Lava Belly Sliver, Crypt Rats. That's it. Just got one Horizon Land so far. We've got three Mythics. Halfway through this box. Soldier and a Spider. Nice art there from Scour All Possibility, Snow Covered Plains, and a Mirrodin Besieged. Okay, Shatter Assumptions, Vulnerable Tree Folk, Rune Nation, Rioter. Illusion Token with a spider on the back. That's a Headless Spectre if I've ever seen one. There it is. Snow Covered Island, Mist Syndicate Naga, Regrowth, or Scale Guardian, Twisted Reflection. Let me move these commas out of the way over here. Foil Elephant Token. Nice. There's a Goblin Matron. Snow Covered Swamp. And a Foil Snow Covered Island. So that might be a little better. Great. We'll uh, put that one there. On Thin Ice for the rare. Face of Divinity, Baron Moore, and a Zalfiran Decoy. A shapeshifter and an Elephant. That is Ravenous Giant, Snow Covered Mountain. Generous Gift, there's a White Elephant Gift in foil. And a Nurturing Peatland, so there's another Horizon Land. Green and Black. Uh, Soul Herder, more said McKinnon art. This is a good spirits card. Uh, okay, let me, should I try it? Onirophage, how'd I do? Squirrel Nest and Trumpet Herd. There we go. Zombie and an uh, Sarah emblem. Cool. Put her there. Hogak, Snow Cover Swamp. Reign of Revelation for the foil and an Ayula, the queen of, among bears. There's your bear lord. Watching for tomorrow, Icehide Golem and a Lesser Masticor. Oh, a foil Merit Lage emblem. I'm sorry, token. Cool. Uh, whoops. Pasha Lickmons, Goblin, Snow Covered Island, and another Mythic Hex Drinker. I actually like this card a lot. For one green, you can level this thing up like crazy with just a one. Give it protection from instants. And you finally get to level eight protection from everything and a six six. I'm um, sure it's probably not super easy to pull off, but I still like it. Wall of Blossoms, Firebolt, and Tribute Mage. Goblin and a bear. Hey, nice. Wart Eye Witch. Snow Covered Plain. And a Prismatic Vista. Great. Basic, got your basic fetch right here. Pay one life. Sacrifice it. Search your library for a basic land card, including a waste, I believe. 
Goblin or Flame, first sliver's chosen, and a tempered sliver. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Oh yeah, I'll use that. I love me some slivers. I like counters too a lot. Illusion and a Rhino. Got a Mox Tantalite art card there. Snow-covered mountain. Scrapyard Recombiner. Lava Belly. King of the Pride. And a Dregscape. Moving along here. Goblin and a Rhino. Some kind of worm. It's a chiller pillar. Forest. Postulic Mons. Secluded Step. Talisman of Conviction and a Lanawar Tribe. Soldier and a Golem. There's uh, Ayula, the Bear, Queen, Mountain. Recruit the Worthy. Scrapyard Recombiner again. There's that duplication we always hear about. Cunning Evasion, Battle Screech, nice reprint, and a Throat Seeker. You don't get to play with this thing yet? I didn't get to go to pre release. I'll maybe give this a try this week sometime. What do we got here? A Smoke Shroud. Swamp, Force of Virtue. Throws of Chaos, Frostwalk Bastion, and a Riot Widow Pack. Man. The commons are stacking up there. There's that Astrolabe. Shapeshifter and an Angel. There's some kind of Minotaur, a Spinehorn Minotaur, an Island, ah, another Horizon Land, Silent Clearing, uh, Black and White, very cool. Scale Up, Forgotten Cave, and Exclude. Okay. Yep, Elemental and a Bear. Plague Engineer, Plains, Force of Despair, Etchings of the Chosen, Scuttling Sliver, Conifer Worm. Thanks for sticking around. I know this is taking forever. Foil Elemental, Lancer Sliver. Here's a Foil Sasse. Alright, that's not bad. And an El Damaris Call. Lonely Sandbar, Undead Augur, Ravenous Giant. So not too bad. I think I got three Horizon Lands and four Mythics. Might end up with another one. Throws a Chaos. Yep, there we go. Ren and Six. The two drop Planeswalker. That's actually pretty good. You can return a land up to your card. Uh, from a graveyard, can deal one damage to any target, or you can get an emblem with instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard have retrace. Very nice. Vengeful Devil, Generous Gift, Talisman of Hierarchy. Goblin and a Spider. There's a Bizarre Trade Mage. And an Arch Mage's Charm. Saddled Rhyme Stag, Tranquil Thicket, Wing Shards. Soldier and a Squirrel. Some Flying Swords. Wall of 1000 Cuts. There's a Mountain and Winds of Abandon. Munitions Expert, Sadistic Obsession, Grave Shifter. Okay, last pack here. Uh, foil bear token in the last one. Got a throat seeker. Here's a swamp. Aria of flame. Abominable tree folk. Lesser massacre and alpine guide. Okay. Scan them up. See how we did.
Okay, there you have it. Packbot has the results at $315 out of my box here. All right, not bad for my first box of Modern Horizons. Got five Mythics out of it and a few of the Horizon Lands and a bunch of other good stuff. So make sure to like the video and I'll catch you on the next one.